second personality who had a great impact on my life and that was Dr. Israr Ahmed. Dr. Israr Ahmed, may Allah grant him Jannah, he was one of the best Urdu speaking orators in the world that I know of. So I traveled all the way to Pakistan in 1991 to meet Dr. Israr Ahmed. He was a medical doctor. He wasn't trained in any Islamic institute or Islamic University. He was a medical doctor inspired by Maududi, Jamaat Islami, went to Tabli Jamaat, they started their own organization, Tanjibul Islam. I went to Lahore to meet him. And I was shocked at his simplicity. The command that he has over the Quran, he also speaks in English but mainly in Urdu. And I was impressed by it. So I purchased all his video cassettes and added to the video cassette library. And to cut the story short, I learned many things from him. I'll just mention two important things I learned. Number one, he told me that I told about my background. I'm a medical doctor. I've just passed. And in 1991, I finished my medical studies and I was doing my internship when we started the organization. In 1991, in 1990, I finished my medical studies. For one year, there was internship. And during internship, I had more time, so we started the organization. So I told him, I've just finished my medical studies. I would like to do, I would like to become a surgeon, do my MS, and I'm interested in Dawa. So he told me, son, you have to choose between the two. Either you choose your medical practice or Dawa. I being a medical doctor, I practiced for seven years and tried to do both. I could not. If you want to specialize, choose between the two one thing. Then after his guidance, I chose to become a Dai. The second thing I learned from him was, he told me that if you want to become a Dai, see to it that you make your personal needs the minimum. I said, why? He said, if you make your personal need the minimum with the least amount of monthly requirement, you can speak the truth more easily. You won't have to depend on anyone. You won't have to depend on please someone who's paying your salary. See to it that your needs are the least. And I saw that he had such a big institution but what a simple man, Dr. Israr Ahmed. May Allah grant him Jannah. And this thing that not to spend excessively was one of the cornerstone of my success. Allah, Allah.